We will start the night with four rounds among Jersey-based welterweights here in Essex County as Anthony Prescott takes on the 3-0 Anthony Gingemi. And there is Anthony Prescott, 26 years old from Cherry Hill, New Jersey, 5'9", 148 pounds, a record of 1-1-1. One, one, and one. He's coming off a four-round draw in February. Only 13 amateur fights prior to turning pro. He's opposite Anthony Gengemi, 23-year-old from Mine Hill, New Jersey. He's 5'8", 147 and a half, 3-0, three, oh, three knockouts. Began boxing at 17 years old, 85 amateur fights, three times a Jersey Golden Glove winner. And a nice reception for Gangemi here with the local crowd in West Orange, New Jersey. Sparkle Lee is our referee to get us started with this four round. You're ready to receive your instructions, obey my commands at all times, and protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, good luck, guys. Gangemi has a lot of edges in his fight. We'll see whether or not it translates into a win for him. As you just mentioned, Joe, big advantage with experience in the amateurs. 85 amateur fights versus only 13 for Prescott. And he's the bigger man, Ganjami. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you here ringside. Once again, our main event, Piona against Marone will be coming up later. Prescott and Ganjami will get us started for four. And then eight with junior featherweights with Yennefel Vicente and Jorge Diaz. Ganjami, bigger guy, has been 151, 154 pounds, while Prescott never above the welterweight limit, never above 148. And he's been as low as 144. So we'll see if Ganjami knows how to use maybe that strength and size advantage. As you touched on, Prescott used to fighting in this state, his home state. All of his fights have been here so far, and for Ganjemi, two of his three fights have been here, also in his home state. Able to get away from that Prescott right hand. Come on, let him get, get out of don't punch, don't punch, don't punch. Come on. Prescott said before the fight, I'm going to run circles around Ganjemi. In other words, I'm gonna to move to the side like he's doing to keep Ganjemi, who's 3-0 with three knockouts, keep him off balance. You can't be a puncher if you're not set. And it's the idea of Prescott to keep Ganjemi from being set. Prescott split the guard with the right hand moments ago. Let me go, guys. Don't punch, don't punch. Get out If I'm in the corner again, Jemmy, first thing I'm telling him when he gets back to the corner, if he gets back to the corner, is go to the body. You see you have a guy in Prescott in front of you that, well, primarily he's using his legs. I mean, that's pretty much his whole setup defensively. <laughs> so take some air out of those tires, go to the body, take those legs away if you're again, Jemmy. Firing off the right, and then a right uppercut as Prescott was up against the ropes for a moment. Prescott and Jemmy at the end of one as we welcome you to the Essex County Cody Arena. Joe and Teddy ringside. East Coast edition of Friday Night Fights after we were out in the state of Washington last week. Listen, when it comes to a main event like this, I'm already sold anytime you have Are we undefeated. Still in Washington? Are we, I can hardly tell <laughs> it the was difference. a long weekend out there. Uh, I'm already sold when it comes to undefeated versus undefeated. Take me to the next level with Piano and Marone. Well, first of all, tell your friends, and I'm talking to you, the audience, tell your friends, call them up. 
watch this show tonight. I don't do this all the time. I think it's a real good, solid show. One of our more solid shows of the year, starting with the cold feature. I think the cold feature is going to be a real battle. And as far as what Joe's talking about, in the main event, two undefeated fighters. They haven't learned how to lose yet. Piano, he can do more. He can box a little bit. He gives to get. He'll step back a little bit. He'll look to counter. He's a two-time Olympian. He's very experienced in the amateurs. 500 amateur fights. Customato used to tell me, you don't know how to fight after 500 fights? Guess what? Do something else. Piano knows how to fight. And against Marone, a strong guy comes at you. It should be a good one. They both use their power hands. Yes, they are both southpaws. They both use their power hands, the left hand. I think it's going to be a good one, a good show. Do your job out there. Call up a few people, tell them, hey, come on, let's watch this together. Enough said. So that's coming up in the main event. Marone Payano. Payano, 523 am amateur fights, as Teddy referenced. <laughs> Round two here. So, I mean, that, like I said, Customano, my mentor, who is a great manager, great trainer, I mean, you couldn't say it more succinctly. If you don't know how to fight after that many fights, you know, go sell ice cream. I mean, do something, but get out of boxing. Two-time Olympian, 04 and 08. Teddy called his don't fights in those no Olympic punch, Games. No got through the first round, lost in the second round of each did Piano, representing the Dominican Republic. Prescott and Gangemi scheduled to open up the night here for four rounds, round number two. There's a wide sweeping right hand on, that was just glancing punch, don't that punch. time by Prescott. Again, I'm wondering now, Joe, I'm really curious to see what kind of corner is in the corner of Ganjami and what kind of advice they gave him. Again, the only advice I could see off of that first round would be use your jam, use your jab, steady Prescott, stabilize him, control the outside, cut the ring down when he's moving, but go to the body. You know, you know he's using his legs to survive in there, to do anything he's doing. His offense is predicated on his legs. His defense is predicated on his legs. Take the legs away. That should be a priority for Ken Jamie. Come on, guys, get out of here, guys. Don't opening up for a moment. Ken Jamie met him with a right hand as they're separated by Sparkle Lee. Hey, you can go to Facebook and click on the live scoring of the Friday Night Fight page and join along with Teddy Atlas at any point. You can jump in throughout the night and score along from home, and we will post the fan okay, judging go, go. along with Teddy Atlas's scorecard all night long. See Prescott punch, tying up that go. left hand of Gangemi. Watch your head. Neither one of these fighters are really succinct with their punches. They're not real short, not real tight with their punches. Little width sometimes in their punches, little space. Let's say hello to Todd Grisham in the studio. Todd? Hello, Joe. How much is two pounds worth in a fight? Well, judging by tomorrow's Juan Manuel Lopez, Mikey Garcia bout, two pounds is worth at least a hundred thousand dollars that's right garcia came in two pounds overweight and had to surrender a six-figure amount to lopez to make the fight happen teddy atlas weighs in later to let us know what this all means it only took one punch for adonis stevens to change the light heavyweight championship landscape what's next for the new champ and where does the shell-shocked chad dawson go from here plus it was an emotional weekend in canastota new york as the 2013 Boxing Hall of Fame class was inducted, you'll hear from several of the inductees straight ahead. Don't forget to be a part of the show. Send your thoughts to me at Grisham ESPN and to ESPN social media contributor Nigel Collins. Check us out on Facebook.com as well. Now back to Joe and Teddy for round three. Thank you, Todd. Adonis Stevenson, new light heavyweight champion of the world. That's a guy that came up, Teddy, early part of his career. Uh, up until last year, fighting right here on Friday Night Fights. All those cards we did in Montreal in recent years. Always was heavy-handed, always shows glimpse of the power. And boy, oh boy, I must have replayed that about 15 times this weekend, just watching the thud and the impact there. Yeah, we have developed quite a few world champions here on Friday Night Fights. Um, 
we've been the learning grounds, if you will, for many a champ. So Todd and Teddy will talk about that during our studio portion of Friday Night Fights. Adonis Stevenson, Chad Dawson, the shocker in the first round up in Montreal. And, of course, a big fight coming tomorrow down in Texas. Round three here scheduled for four. A little more accuracy, more succinctness in the punches of Ganjimi in this round. Maybe the television nerves have worn off a little bit. The spotlight, the bright lights, maybe make him or made him a little over anxious early. Seems to be settling down a little bit. Again, I think the key for Ganjemi is that jab. Stabilize the guy moving, jab to his chest. You don't have to jab to his head, jab to his chest, stabilize him. Keep him from pot shot. Don't just look for the big shots, otherwise he'll pot shot you. And then go to the body, cut the ring down, he's following. Prescott a little bit. Cut the ring down, make the ring small, trap him a little bit, and then go downstairs to that basement. Now see if you can bust a couple pipes. Create a little bit of a flood downstairs. Whenever I talk about cutting the ring down, I always think about using the analogy football Joe you know in football linebackers they can't follow the running back from the backfield they have to move lateral down the line keep in front of them and then make the tackle we have a pretty good football player here tonight that plays not far from here Victor Cruz the New York Giants he showed up uh, ringside just before our opening bout tonight Let's see if we'll check in with him a little later on Final half minute here of round three. Question is right now in this fight is, is Prescott just trying to survive? I'd say yes so far. He's gonna have one more round after this to try to win. Oh, he just got a timed right hand yeah, there. He got ready for that round right now. Maybe got an early start to that idea. To celebrate signing a tender offer as a free agent for 2.8 million earlier today. I go watch the fight. Exactly. Fight. That's where Victor Cruz of the New York Giants decided to. Smart receiver. Couple mil in the puck. You come out to Friday Night Fights right here in New Jersey. Glad to have him here ringside with us. Remember that success that Prescott had with the right hand at the end of round three, and now he's coming out as the aggressor here in round four. So sometimes that's all it takes. It's just, you know, a little spark to maybe ignite a flame. A little spark of confidence at the end of the third round, after I thought he had lost all three rounds. Maybe just what the doctor ordered for Prescott, because his problem so far has been just defense and maybe too much of it. Not right. enough thinking of offense. That right hand not enough at the end of round three to give him that third round on Teddy's card. Remember, you the fans at home can score along on Facebook, have it the same exact way as Teddy. Three rounds for Dan Jimmy. You know, when Prescott has had success, as he did in that spot, the end of the last round and the beginning of this round with the right hand, mostly because he's doing it in spots. He's pot shotting a little bit, and he's allowed to pot shot a little bit because, again, again, Jamie not using his jab when he pursues him. And if you pursue somebody who's moving and you're not using the jab to stabilize them, to keep them honest, like right now, watch again, Jamie. If he just comes in, now he's jabbing. What's it do? It makes Prescott go defensive again. It makes Prescott go defensive. That's what you do. But when you're not jabbing, Prescott has clear vision to do that. Pot shot. Right up, right to the body. There's that right hand again trying to get over. He's looking to time a right hand. Cut 
and lifted him for a moment as he was taking a step away. And the crowd urging on Anthony Gingemi. Local product here. The big difference here is in this fight has been that Prescott thinks defense first, Joe. You know, and then he thinks a little offense. Gingemi's thinking offense first with defense. And I think that's gonna get him a win. And by thinking defense, the first to survive again, Jemmy, in his career. Remember, he came in 3-0 with three knockouts. Now he'll hear from the judges for the first time when we return. The end Friday Night Fights is presented by Corona Extra, proud sponsor of Friday Night Fights, and as always, encourages you to relax responsibly. And in part by Just For Men Auto Stop, the foolproof way to get rid of gray. And by Rena Center with the Rack Flex plan, you can get 90 days same as cash with no credit needed. We're here in West Orange, nearby the Thomas Edison National Historic Park, where modern day America was invented. Over a thousand patents he developed there. See the phonograph. And it is the home of Teddy's Fight Plan. It's Teddy and Saul going back into history a bit with a visit to Thomas Edison's historic lab. Teddy had it 40 to 36, a clean sweep for the undefeated Gangemi. You, the fans at home, saw it the same way. Let's send it up to the ring to David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of action here at the Richard J. Cody Arena at South Mountain, we go to the judges' score totals. Emil Conforti scored this bout 38-38 even. Case and Cheek scored this bout 40-36, and Lawrence Layton scored this bout 39-37, both for your winner by majority decision, and still undefeated. From Mine Hill, New Jersey, Anthony Pelion Gangemi. Well, generous scoring from Emil Conforti, but Anthony Gangemi does get the victory here, moves his mark to 4 and 0. Teddy, what'd you make of the scoring there? I think that the judge that had it even, a draw, they need to do some kind of testing on him some quite generous i should have him do my taxes next spring teddy no no I, that could go either way <laughs> that could go either way somebody should check that guy 